Hello. <laughs> Spooky season, huh? <laughs> ah, it's Inktober time. And I'm excited. The first prompt for this Inktober that I've got that we've that we're gonna be doing this year. It's Gargoyle and I've made myself a little pin wall <laughs> of some cute and funky looking gargoyles. Um, and I think that's going to do well for a character for our first story. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> mm. I'm just not sure if I want to go, you know, that direction or just cute cat direction. I also like this one where it's just chilling out. This one. That's very cute. I, have, I like the climbing one. Or the one holding the lamp. What about this perching one? It's pretty cool. I think I'll do. I'll use that as a reference, sort of. No. Please. There we go. Okay, I have got... I'll be doing the same thing as last year, so I'll be using yellow ink. As you can see, sort of in there. But I've also got myself more yellow ink, just because I'm pretty sure this is going to run out uh, while we're using it. Oh! Ooh, okay, actually, I should probably first make sure I can open all of these up and I clean them. It's not been opened in like a year almost. <laughs> so some stuff accumulated there, I'd say. A bunch of sticky ink. Well, I guess we'll clean first. But how is everyone? I hope you're having a nice, lovely morning, afternoon, or whatever it is in your time zone. And I'm gonna just. No, I have not tested out this paper. This is a brand new sketchbook that we're going to be trying out for this. Um, that's going to be fun. Right, let's see. Oh, that's gotten so stuck. Oof, okay. Now, all of these gargoyles are like uh, all just. Mmm, lovely. I just, you know, typical stone colour. So I'm guessing we're not going to be using much colour in this first one. Just a few. Maybe for lighting. Oh, that smells. Oh. as good as that's gonna get, is it? Whew. My poor hands. Should have done that before I started this, but oh well, too late now. But I think I'm going to do a gargoyle that's more cat-like, because we're all about cats on this, right? Cat-themed stuff. got stuck as well. Oh, lovely. Having a great start. <laughs> right. Also got myself, oh I love that uh, one ink pot that I got, the new one. A new one, a purple. Just one new ink though, because I've already got 
I've still got a lot of ink left and I'm pretty sure that's gonna be enough for this here at least. Alright, so as far as I know, gargoyles are statues at night and then they come to life. <laughs> Wait, no, they were statues by day and then they come alive at night and keep evil away? Huh, it's 2.30pm on a Sunday already. This weekend has gone so fast. <laughs> no, uh, it's just past 11 on a Saturday. <laughs> and I'm having to clean up the ink pots that I haven't opened in like almost a year, mostly. So that's fun. And I haven't... I have got my reference at this. Is that a C? New background art. Yes, it is! <laughs> um... Oh, wow, oh, wow. Well, well, uh, is that a C? In white ink on my... Okay, I've got ink all over my hands already and I haven't even started painting yet. But yes, I have indeed uh, got myself some inktober themed background art well made of watercolors instead of you know ink but <sighs> these ink pots i swear should have done all this cleaning earlier but uh i didn't and now it's biting me in the back <laughs> right we're almost done with the cleaning. Are you going to draw Notre Dame? It's the only, it's the only thing that comes to mind when you think about gargoyles. Now I'm just going to draw a gargoyle statue. I thought that would be a nice, you know, first character because they supposedly come to life at night to ward off evil. Which is weird because some of them look super evil themselves, but you know. <laughs> Tis how it is, isn't it? No, come on. Gold doesn't want to really clean up. Oh, but I've got a nice glittery towel now. <laughs> Aren't gargoyles demons? No, they're statues and, you know, you've got them on, like, churches and stuff so that they ward off. So they, they keep away the demons. <laughs> It's a bit weird and seems kind of counterproductive to put a demon outside of your church to ward off demons, but who knows? I found some really cute ones where I'll show you in a bit. There we go. Well, makes sense. <laughs> I suppose, but it's a bit weird. Okay. I think two more pots. Oh yeah, I've got an orange now. So no more weird mixing, trying to mix red and yellow ink for orange tones. Now, also, I have not tested out this paper yet, um, so if this, it's a good, if it's a good paper, that's going to be a surprise. I don't know. I've not tried it out, and uh, we're all going to be surprised if it goes through or not. Oops. Ah, uh, oops. La la la. <sighs> Off to a great start. I don't think the orange one. Oh, great. It's already gone sticky. <sighs> I never even used you. 
Or maybe I did and I don't remember. <laughs> but that does look like a lovely orange. I don't think I did use a little bit of it at least, but it's still pretty full. Right. And because the yellow is like literally almost non existent at this point, there's like a little tiny bit, bit left. I've got this big, big ink pot of yellow just in case the yellow runs out. And I've also got myself a new purple one. It looks like black here, but. Also, it's a shape of a cake slice, which is really funny. I love this. Oh. Well, that looks so pretty. Um, but first of all, we're gonna have to start with a sketch. Hold on. And for that, I've got myself a little pin wall. See, that's the one where. <coughs> A race of creatures that endure life as statues but come alive to ward off evil beings. Their statues are usually placed atop places of worship, su such as churches, to deter evil from entering. If need be, they can leave their resting place to fend off the persistent evil. Camera. Already gave in. <laughs> but that's fine. I found some really cute gargoyles though. Looks like the essence of pure darkness. It does when it's in the ink pot, but I just had a look inside and it looks really pretty. Camera having a rough morning. It really is. It really is. I checked the battery this morning and it still had two bars so I thought, eh, might still last me a bit, but apparently no. <laughs> but that's fine. Right. Yes, 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 I know. But, as for the gargoyle, oh, yeah, yeah, I want to draw. I kind of really like this one. This one's just chilling there. No, I don't want to buy it on eBay. Jeez. Oh, but I also really like this one. <clears throat> and I kind of want to draw this one. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to draw, well, not exactly that one, just, you know, an interpretation of it. I'll make it more cat-like because cats. I don't know, I kind of feel like gargoyles should become a part of a cat world because cat gargoyles are pretty cool creatures, I'd say. They look very funky. Right. Uh, wait. Are you going to do backgrounds as well? We'll see. Depending how long this takes. Let me get... that in half and put that behind it just in case it's supposed to be good for watercolor and ink and stuff but I'm not trusting the, the texture I mean it does seem pretty thick but I'm not really sure so we're just gonna have to see I think it's going on pretty smoothly. Let's just ignore the fact that the yellow is almost completely empty, so it's a little bit hard to get any ink on the pen. Hold on. I can barely see anything there. <laughs> Even then, that's hard to tell. Oops. to go higher.
That's okay. It's going to it's going to be more visible when we add the ink on top of it. I don't know if that's very visible, but Okay, I can tell that that is kind of being a little bit mm. but it doesn't seem to be going through yet. Okay. Remember that if it goes through, you'll have to incorporate into the <laughs> into the next day. Yes, I know. That's going to uh, that's going to be a bit difficult, to be honest. I'm gonna give it a little beardy. I'm gonna make it a fluffy one. It's gonna be a fluffy gargoyle. <laughs> Okay, now it looks a little bit mischievous. Look at that. We've got a little mischievous uh, gargoyle. I need to close the drawer again. <laughs> make that fluffy. Mischievous but fluffy, I see nothing wrong. <laughs> it's the definition of cats, isn't it? Right, so, are we going to make this a very colourful gargoyle, or are we going to go traditional gargoyle and just make it black and grey? Maybe a little brown. That's a question. Different shades of grey, black maybe. I only have one black, so that's gonna be difficult, but well technically I have two blacks. I've got this Indian ink and then I've got the black Indian ink from Winston Newton. We'll do an outline first, okay? And then we'll see. Oops. 
that's a lot of ink there. This paper is really nice. Look at that cute face. <laughs> that cute fluffy face. It's wrecking the paper a little bit. It's lending itself quite well for the ink, but <sighs> again, waterproof ink is not great for elastic pens. But that's not going to stop me. Maybe we'll keep the statue like with a little bit of black shading and then do some background stuff in different colors. I think that'll be quite nice. Let's finish the tail first before we add the shading and stuff. Sounds good, yes. It's looking very, very cute as well. References help, they really do.
love the way it looks. <laughs> And a smaller canvas was definitely the better option for this. Right, I think I'm going to wash the black off and close the black ink and then we're going to do a little bit of a colourful background. Just a little bit. Oh, my hands. Mm, I love Inktober. <laughs> so inky. <laughs> right, I'm gonna make that little bit in the middle a little bit of a lamp-ish. Thing, which means, uh, where's my yellow? It's a gold. There's the yellow. Trying to get as much of it as on there as possible. well. <laughs> I think I'll have to go in with a little bit of orange. I'll go with a little bit of orange. Which one of these must be orange? There it is. Yeah. I'll make it all orange. Because that pops a lot more than the yellow does. Just an orange stone ball thing. I don't know what you would call it, a post or a gate or something, I don't know, sitting on top of something at least. Very cheeky little gargoyle cat. <laughs> then when we're done with this we're gonna have to see if it bled through any of the sides because I'm not super confident about this paper. <laughs> but at least I'm a little bit more confident with it than last year. Oh, oh yeah, look at that. We've got some bleeding through from the black. Mm. Okay. Good to know, good to know. <sighs> Gonna need more red. That's a lot of ink blood. <laughs> it is, it is quite a lot. Considering it's supposed to be for inking and also, you know, sketching, but don't think they meant this kind of inking. Hmm. So we're going to have to kind of just go with it. Mm. I mean, it's not too bad, but it's not great either. You know?
sorry, but brown has kind of weirdly changed colour. Maybe I'll have to shake it on the moment. That's not good. What's going on with you? That's done ooh, close to nothing. What is that? Uh, okay. <laughs> We're just going to ignore that. I'll just use blue instead. I kind of want to know, know what the new purple looks like that I got myself, so I'm going to uh, <laughs> go ahead and sneaky, 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 take the cake shaped ink pot. Ooh, Ooh okay, interesting. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, that's dark. That's very dark. Oh, I like, I like this. A very dark purple. I wonder what it looks like if you're diluted with water. But I don't have any clean water with me. Haha. <laughs> oh, but I have gotten a, a, a little bit of ink on my hand from that. Oh, it's so dark and lovely. I really love this purple. Oh my gosh, yes. Yeah, that's where you can kind of see there's some darker and some light areas now there, but I really like that. The look is just absolutely gorgeous. Oh my gosh, yes! <laughs> We've got ourselves a little, a little bit of a, I'm going to shape more darkly around this area. Oh, that's doing very well as a shading colour. Oh my gosh, yes. Yes.
Excuse me while I fangirl about this ink. It's combining very nicely, making some very nice shades and stuff. Adding a little bit more dimension. Look at that! I love it! Right, I'm gonna get myself clean water and see if I can dilute this part down here and see what that looks like and how we're taking green. Ah! Yeah, no, we're not drawing anything on the other side. It's bleeding in through too much. Okay. Well, it's good to know. That, that bleeds through a lot. I'm gonna get myself some clean water real quick and then I'll mess around with that. So I'll be back soon. Hi Becky, how are you doing? I hope you're doing well and everything. I've already gotten quite a bit of a drawing done. Um, and I'm going to see if I'm gonna I'm gonna see what the purple paint looks like when you dilute it a little bit <coughs> with some clean water. Oh, that is so pretty. Just look at that. Oh yes. I'm doing well, I'm crocheting a whole row of tiny flowers. Ah, ooh! Tiny flowers. Tiny flowers are very nice. It's a dragon cat. It's a gargoyle. It's a little dra gargoyle dragon cat. The orange is not diluting as well. Oh, sorry, Mr. Gargoyle. <laughs> well, it is the dragon cat in a way, but it's also okay. Hmm. Ah, oh, well. I kind of like the way it looks like this, but something is missing in the background. Something has to be going on there. So we're going to take some green. Put that down. And I'm going to take this. We go that's on one side and the other one There we go. There we go. That brings the background together, doesn't it? Oops. Whew. Ah, shoot. Record makes it look spookier. Yes, it does. 
green splatters. <laughs> it's looking very, very nice. I love this. Ah! Is that Inktober one already done after 47 minutes? Bruh. <laughs> Okay, fair enough. I did use a smaller canvas and stuff. But one second, let me find the... <laughs> Prompt list. I think we're gonna do some crocheting after this. But where's my prompt list? Where's my prompt list? Uh... Uh, prompt list there, found it. Ooh, okay. So this is our first character. He, they, she needs a name, but... We can go ahead and cross out Gargoyle. There we go, that's day one done. <laughs> Should you write the prompt on each drawing like the names of the randomly generated OCs? Ooh, oh yes, I should. I should. I've got some space up there, so I'm going to... You know what, I'm going to do this in, this, in the beautiful purple ink. And I'll take my glass dip pen. Dip it. I'm gonna sign it first. Or... Oops. Ink. Toe. Day. One. Gargoyle. I love this new ink as well. The purple ink is very, very pretty. And I really like this uh, drawing of our little character, Gargoyle. So, uh... Ta-da! <laughs> it just needs to dry now. But let's see. Oh my gosh, that has really gone through. Uh, yeah, we're not drawing on the back of this. Look at that. That's no good. But it doesn't look like we've got anything on this. This is just paint stuff. So at least it doesn't go through the page, it seems. But it's definitely not blade proof. It's not bleed proof, it's not ink proof, it, it it bleeds through, that's a little disappointing. Oh well, but it is a pretty uh, drawing. <sighs> but, oh well. It's got how many pages? How many pages do you have? Oh, you don't tell me. You don't tell me how many pages you've got. Why not? But I do think we get at least one up ink turbo out of this. Maybe two. We'll see. But that's... <sighs> I did that so quickly. Uh... Well. I guess I can either stay on a little bit and crochet something, or I go offline and uh, go do some chores. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to do the latter. Inktober speedrun. <laughs> yeah, that was quick. That was really quick. Well, I guess I will see you tomorrow for Inktober Day 2, which will be Scurry, which is a very interesting prompt. Like scurrying along. 
We'll be using our little character, I guess, our little Gargar character for that. Because I like him. I like his mischievous look. He's lovely. Anyway, I think I'm going to go offline now. Um, and I'll see you tomorrow. I don't know at what time yet. Probably afternoon or later on in the morning. I, I don't know. Uh, sometime tomorrow at least <laughs> and we'll do day two that was quick but I do have to do some chores so might as well do that now get that sorted and then I'll see you tomorrow <laughs> bye <laughs> uh, between midnight and midnight exactly between midnight and midnight sometime tomorrow I'll be back online and I'll uh yeah I'll I'll <laughs> Yeah, I'll see you tomorrow for the, the prompt scurry. Yes, see you. Bye-bye.